Hello friends, this video on arithmetic progressions part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. For example, find the sum of first 40 positive integer divisible by 6. Again, similar question we have done. For number to be divisible by 6, the number should be 6, 12, 18 of this form. Correct? This will be AP where the difference will be 6. Why? Because all the number is to be divisible by 6. The least number that is divisible by 6 is 6, then 12, then 18. So if you see this is the AP. Correct? So here we know that A is equal to 6, D is equal to 6 and N is equal to 40 because we are talking about sum of first 40 number. Just the, use the formula S40 is nothing but N by 2, 2A plus n minus 1d n is equal to 40 40 by 2 a is equal to 6 2 a 2 into 6 plus n minus 1 will be 39 why because n is 40 and d is again 6 so this becomes 20 into 12 plus 234 and this is nothing but 20 into 246 that is nothing but 4920 and that is my answer correct very simple See, all the number divisible by 6, the least number is 6, then 12, then 18. If you see, this will come to be a AP with a A is 6 and D is 6. N is 40 already given, so we use the formula to get the answer. Let's take one more example. Find the sum of odd numbers between 0 and 50. Odd number is 1, 3, 5, 7, dot, dot, dot. And below less than 50, the maximum odd number is 49, we know. 50 is not odd, 50 is even. So this is my series. I have to find the sum. Now for this series, A is equal to 1, we can see. Correct? We have to find the nth term. What is the value of this nth term? Right? And D we know. D is also 2. 3 minus 1, 2, 5 minus 3. So we know that A n is equal to A plus n minus 1. Why I am finding n? Because to find sum, we have to find the value of n. So A n is 49, is equal to 1, A is 1 plus n minus 1 into 2, correct? Or n minus 1 is equal to 49 minus 1 by 2, that is 24. So, n is equal to 25. So, I have the value of n now. I can just use the formula. Sn is nothing but n by 2, a plus l, first term plus last term. A is n by n is 25, 25 by 2, a is 1, l is 49. So, I get this is nothing but 25 by 2 into 50. You do cancel 25 by 25, 25 into 25, that is 625. That is my answer. Very simple. We are told that the series is 1, 3, 5, 7, till 49. We didn't know the value of n. We knew a, we knew d, we didn't know n. So we use the formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. And a n is 49, we know. We found the n to be 25. That is, this is 25th term. This is a25. Since there are 25 terms, we can use the formula Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus n because we knew the first term, we knew the last term, we got Sn is equal to 620. Let's take one more example. The contract on construction job specifies a penalty for delay of completion beyond a certain date as 200 rupees for the first day, 250 for the second day, 300 rupees for the first day, and keep going on. 50 rupees is added every day. Right? So on first day, the penalty is 200, second day is 250, then 300 then 350 and it goes on. The work is delayed by 30 days that is n is equal to 30. Right? We have to find the total loss. Here we see a is equal to 200 we can see. So a is equal to 200. d is equal to 50 we can see. You take difference of any two number is 50 and n is equal to 30. Just use the formula sn. n by 2 to a plus n minus 1d n is equal to 30 30 by 2 to a 2 into 200 plus n minus 1 is 29 into d is again 50 correct so this is nothing but 15 into 400 plus 1450 and that is nothing but 15 into 1850 and that comes out to be 27750. Correct? So, this is the total penalty. Why? On first day, he has to pay 200, then 250 to 300. It keeps going on. 
so in total penalty for 30 days will be sum of all the penalty sum of the penalty for first day penalty for second day penalty for third day so we are using a summation here correct the reason we are using summation here is because we have to add all the penalties penalty for first day second day third day fourth day and we saw is ap with a is equal to 200 d is equal to 50 and total number of days is 30 and we did the sum we found the answer to be 27750 let's take one more example the sum of 700 rupees is to be used to give seven cash prize to students of the school if each prize is 20 less than its preceding prize find the value so we will say the first prize was a second was a plus 20 because the difference between two prizes is 20 rupees third was a plus 40 like that. and we are told that n is equal to 7 they are maximum 7 cash price the total sum is 700 that means if you sum all the values you get 200 that is 700 that is sn is equal to 700 told just use the formula sn is nothing but n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d correct n is equal to 7 given a we have to find the minimum value plus n minus 1 is 6 because n is 7 and d is 20 given correct is equal to 700 correct or we get 2a plus 120 is equal to this is cancel 100 is equal to 200 or a is equal to 200 minus 120 by 2 that is 80 by 2 that is 40. We have got the value of A. Since we have got the value of A, we can find the value of price. The price is 40. 40 plus 20 is 60. 60 plus 20 is 80. 80 plus 20 is 100. 100 plus 20 is 120. 120 plus 40, 20 is 140. And 120 plus, 140 plus 20 is 160. These are the 7 prices. If you see 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 7, 7 prices we have. What we have done here? We knew the prices of this form a a plus 20 a plus 40 because the question says that each price differs by 20 rupees. And total amount is 700 rupees and the number of price is 7. So we assume n is equal to 7. We have to find the value of a. D was also given 20 because the difference in the price is 20. We got the value of a to be 40. The minimum value of price is 40. So the other price are a a plus d that is 60, a plus 2d that is 80, a plus 3d that is 100, keeps on going on, so we got all the prices. In a school, student thought of painting trees in and around school to reduce the air pollution. It was decided that the number of trees that each section of each class will plant will be same as the class in which they are studying. For example, section of class 1 will plant 1 tree, class 2 will plant 2 tree, and class 3, 3d and so on. And there are 3 sections of each class. How many trees to be planted? So section 1 will plant 1 tree, section 2 will plant 2 tree, 3, 3 tree, 4, 4 tree and section 12 will plant 12 tree. And there are 3 sections actually, right? So actually section 3 will, 1 will plant 1 into 3 actually, if you see. Why? There are 3 sections of class 1. So class 1 will total plant 3 tree. 3 into 1, 3 sections. Class 2 will plant 3 into 2, 6. 3 will plant 3 into 3, 9. Similarly, class, class 12 will plant 36 trees. So this is my sequence. Three trees by class 1 because there are three sections in class 1, 3 into 1. 36 trees by class 12 because there are three sections of class 12. Correct? So if you see this, this is the AP with A is equal to 3, D is equal to 3 and N is equal to 12. Just find the sum. SN is nothing but n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d that is nothing but 12 by 2 into 2 into 3 plus 11 into d is nothing but 3 this is 6 this is nothing but 6 into 6 plus 33 correct that is 6 into 39 that is nothing but 230 and that is my answer very simple. Class 1, 3 tree, class 2, 6 tree, class 3, 9 tree, class 12, 36 tree. We know A, we know D, we know N, and we got the sum. Let's take one more example. Spiral is made of successive semicircles with center alternatively at A and B, starting with center A of radius 0.5. This is 0.5. A. This is 0.5. And 
and then this becomes point one 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 point five. Every time it increases by point five centimeter. Find total length of such spiral made by thirteen consecutive semicircles. Please note this semicircle. So for one semicircle, the distance is pi r. Correct. So if you see the radius, radius is also ap of this one. 0.5, 1.0, 1.5, 2.0, 2.5 like that. If the radius is in AP, since the distance is pi r, semicircle, this will also be in AP. This will be something like this: 0.2.5, pi into 1, pi into 1.5, pi into 2, pi into 2.5, pi into 2.5. If you see, this is also AP, right? The AP, the difference is pi by two. D is pi by two, and A is also pi by two. N we know N is thirty. We have to find the distance. Very simple. Total sum is N by two. Two A plus N minus one D. See, this is nothing but radius, and this is nothing but semi perimeter. Right? This is nothing but semi perimeter if this is semi perimeter and this is also ap i have to find sum of all semi perimeter and do a summation summation is nothing but n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d n is here 13 13 by 2 into 2 into a is nothing but pi by 2 plus n is nothing but 13 n minus 1 is 13 minus 1 is 12 into d is also pi by So I'll take pi by two common. This becomes thirteen by two into pi by two is nothing but twenty two by seven into plus twelve. So it's fourteen. This is nothing but thirteen by two into twenty two by seven into fourteen. Seven to fourteen. Seven to fourteen. Gone. So thirteen into twenty two. Correct. This comes out to be so. This is pi by two, so this is one more one by two here. Why? Because this is pi by two here actually. Pi by two. So this is two by seven. This is pi pi by two. So two also cancel. This is thirteen into eleven, and that is one forty three. That is my answer. Very simple. What you have done? We know that this is pi r, right? This is pi r, and and we this is pi r. This is pi. Everything is pi r. The value of r differs. We form. We saw that this pi r, pi r, pi r. This is AP actually, where d is equal to pi by two and a is also pi by two. A is pi by two and difference is also pi by two. N is equal to thirteen. So we just found the sum of all this semi perimeter. We got one point three as an answer. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.